Hi, this is Oli from Rightware. We specialize in user interface solutions for the automotive industry and other embedded applications. I'm here to tell you about the progressive rendering feature now available in Rightware Kanzi. In order to provide great digital user experiences, car makers want to deliver high quality graphics, even on lower cost hardware. However, they often find that in order to deliver good performance, they need to make compromises in the graphical quality of the user interface, and vice versa. Let's take a look at a typical digital user interface in a car, a digital instrument cluster, and let's look at it from a performance perspective. Mission critical content such as gauges, needles, warnings and other such indicators must be updated at a steady 60 frames per second at all times. This is both for safety reasons as well as for maintaining the visual quality that drivers expect from these elements. On the other hand, you have your rich content, your 3D, your media player, your navigation and so on. As these are not considered mission critical, it's acceptable to make some compromises in the performance of these elements. So what do you need in order to achieve that magical 60 frames per second in your automotive user interface? To understand this, let's talk about how graphics are created. For each time the picture on your screen is updated, your hardware needs to calculate and draw every on-screen element. And to do this at 60 frames per second, the hardware has to be able to do the calculation in under 16.6 milliseconds. Take any longer than that and you'll have jerky graphics as your frame rate starts to drop. Typically, car makers would have to reduce their design and graphical quality in order to improve performance. Here at Rightware, we wanted to make it possible to have fast, high quality graphics even on lower cost hardware. Here's how. Rightware Kanzi is the leading user interface solution for the automotive industry. With our real-time graphics engine and performance optimization tools, Kanzi enables you to create user interfaces with high quality branded graphics that run great on any hardware platform. With our progressive rendering feature, it's now even easier to increase the performance of your user interface by allowing you to distribute your rendering across several frames. Here's how it works. Let's say you've measured the performance of your hardware. The green bar represents your mission critical content, gauges, indicators, and so on. The blue bar is your 3D car, your media player, and so on. See how the combined render time goes over that magical line of 16.6 milliseconds? This means that your hardware doesn't have enough power to render this particular user interface design at 60 frames per second. Now let's enable progressive rendering with Kanzi. We've now enabled progressive rendering for the content in the blue bar. We've distributed the rendering of the content within the blue bar across two frames. Now the green part continues to be drawn at full speed while the blue part renders a bit slower. Let's see it in action. Here's a simple digital cluster consisting of gauges and a 3D scene. The cluster is running on lower-end automotive hardware. You can see that the overall performance of the cluster is poor. The needles are not smooth as the overall frames per second drops below 40. In order to improve this, I'm going to use the new progressive rendering technology included in Rightware Kanzi. Here's the project you just saw now opened in Kanzi Studio. I've now enabled progressive rendering for the car model in the middle. I've taken the car model and divided it into a few groups. One group for the exterior, one for the interior, and one for the lighting of the 3D scene. What I've then done is I've created a progressive rendering composer and created a couple of render passes under it. For each pass, I've selected a particular group of objects to be rendered. So now, instead of trying to render everything on the screen at once, Kanzi will render the car at a slower frame rate while giving maximum resources for the rest of the content. Let's now see how it performs on the board. Here's the cluster running on the same board, now with progressive rendering enabled. You can clearly see the improvement in performance. The needles are nice and smooth, while the 3D has a slightly lower frame rate. 
we've been able to allocate some of the resources from rendering the 3D model onto the gauges, improving the overall performance while retaining high visual quality. This was a presentation about the progressive rendering feature in Rightware Kanzi. To learn more about this feature, check out the Kanzi documentation where you'll also find a complete tutorial. Thanks for your time.